The rumor mill is heating up regarding potential AMD Radeon RX 600 series of graphics cards that could be due to launch as soon as this October. Welcome back to Catnip and come on, let's learn together. This particular leak comes via an AMD GPU Linux kernel patch revealing a new Polaris graphics card ID within the Linux driver. Codenamed NHEX 6FDF, references to this Polaris part haven't been spotted in any driver release ever before. If we connect the dots right, we are looking at an unannounced Polaris version of an AMD GPU. It's certainly not the first time that the news of an impending graphics card launch has been leaked by a Linux driver update. AMD's Vega launch in 2017 came out similar. AMD's current crop of Radeon RX 500 series GPUs were themselves a 2017 refresh of the original Polaris powered Radeon RX 400 series from 2016. So it would make a great deal of sense for AMD to get some new cards onto store shelves this year if nothing else as it keeps AMD's lineup looking fresh. While the Radeon RX 500 series uses the exact same 40 nanometer architecture and instruction set as the RX 400 series though, the new 600 series is expected to be using a smaller 12 nanometer fabrication process. The chip itself is to be dubbed the Polaris 30, following on from the Polaris 20 and Polaris 10, being the RX 500 and 400 series GPUs respectively. Fundamentally, the Polaris 30 should be quite similar to Polaris 20. It is a more power efficient die shrink, but it's a comparatively small move from 40 nanometer to 12. All we can expect are slightly higher clock speeds right out of the box, but that's where the list ends. The likelihood is that AMD has been hedging over its bets somewhat to determine whether a Radeon RX 600 series was ever worth it. However, with Nvidia seemingly dropping the wall with its GeForce RTX 20 series launch, AMD has found itself with an opportunity to gain a greater stranglehold in the mid and low end of the graphics card market. Of course, until Nvidia releases something similar in this price segment, and AMD would have to beef up its arsenal as well to keep up with the competition. Assuming the AMD RX 600 series does shift to 12 nanometer, we can expect performance gains of somewhere between 10 to 15 percent over the Radeon RX 500 GPUs. In the case of Radeon RX 680, this would be enough to ensure AMD's clear lead against the GeForce GTX 1060 6GB version in just about every gaming benchmark available. So for the bottom line, we are expecting a bit too much from a single driver release, and there is a lot to see in order to confirm anything. So all this information is to be taken with a pinch of salt. Although we cannot guarantee the details, it might be somewhat similar to what we are going to see in the coming few months. Until then, we just have to wait and hold on to the news line. So that would be it for this video and we hope you liked it. A million thanks to our dear subscriber family for your continuous love and support and until next time, stay tuned for more.